<laughs> hey guys, Ebro already started things off awkwardly. Yeah. No Sorry, surprise. I, no Who surprise? knew I could make one of the Hazard boys mad at me? And you love no. him. You've been talking about the Dukes of Hazard for like fucking two weeks. Here, talk, talk to the mic. Talk to the I mic. I do. I love it. I love it. Yeah, but uh, you yeah, know, the bow, the bow thing is. You like, called him bow as soon as he walked right in off the, the bat. You have to, you have to warm up, man. Listen, I thought I was celebrating childhood in a moment. Oh. I see the guy that used to drive an orange vehicle. I used to buy the Hot Wheels with the Confederate flag. My mom never even told me that that was a Confederate flag. Here I'm this little black kid running around with Confederate flags talking about No it. idea. Yeah. Had no idea I was watching a racist program. It was not a racist, racist program. <laughs> it was a racist looking well, car. Well, well, oh, a racist looking car. Well, the, the, the program wasn't racist at all, but the car, I, the, the, car, car the Confederate the car, what, the car, flag. There was no black people for it to be racist. <laughs> That's true. Yes, there were. Who? Ooh, there were. Brody was in the first episode. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. episode. True. And the last, well, there, there, there were several, but I want to tell you that the last episode was called Opening Night at the Boar's Nest. I wrote it and directed it, and we had two black gentlemen in it. One was Kevin Peter Hall, who wound up being a... Uh, Harry from Harry and the Henderson, seven foot two. Oh wow! Okay. Oh, he's literally and, seven uh, foot two. Seven foot two. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Didn't play basketball. He was a stand-up comic, and his his whole initial thing was that he didn't play uh, basketball. And he was a and seven foot two dance. black man. That yeah. is unbelievable. But it, uh, but yeah, the Dukes. The Dukes was a, an amazing show. Great show. Still, still a great yeah, show. One of my. I had still Dukes that has its Velcro sneakers. Yeah. I was obsessed when I was a kid. <laughs> I too. wish I still had those. Listen, John Snyder. And Tico, forgive me for Sumter. It's Sumter, okay. that's right. Uh, it's our are first here time with us. Okay. Um, and uh, you're on a new program. Yeah, tell us about the yes. new show. What's what's going on with you guys right now? New show is called uh, The Haves and the Have Nots. Boom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's basically about this wealthy family and their complex relationship. He's the wealthy man. Um, their complex relationship with the people that um, work for them. And whoa. Yeah. Tyler Perry show. It's a Tyler, Tyler Perry show. What channels on? Own. 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 Yeah, it's Oprah and Tyler's first um, scripted drama on her network, and uh, Tyler's first scripted, and well, no, first drama, and then her right. first scripted. And um, basically, my character, Candace, is kind of this feisty, ambitious girl, law student, who um, pays her way through school by escorting, and- uh, Hello. Hello. <laughs> She's trying to let that one go. Yeah. Pay her with my escort. Uh, escort yeah. And uh, the first client, well, one of her clients um, happens to be Mr. Cryer. And uh, his daughter actually happens to be my friend, which we don't know. Right. And um, and then it all starts. Drama from ensues. Drama, Drama ensues. ensues. It's chaotic. I cause a lot of havoc and chaos. She's so a there's problem. A, there's a lot here. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One, an ambitious mm -hmm. ho. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, pr Not I prefer... Nice. Um, just an ambitious woman who, wait a second, wait a second. Why isn't that a girl's a hoe if she's just, wait, that is that, like the oldest. Tika, that's what a, that's what a hoe is. What? It's sex for money. No, but not the whole time. Right, no, but you're saying she's you don't, somewhere other things. In there. You're she's saying got, you don't want to define her sheerly Don't violent. judge her just on having sex for Look, money. I said she's ambitious. Yeah, but you can't call her a hoe. And intelligent. She's going to law school. She is. And successful. Yes. And successful. Right. Former And hoe. a hoe. <laughs> Former. That's, not, that's fine. It's Former hoe. Fine, I'll, 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 I won't take that. She loves Money her will get you this. Money Isn't that one of your lines of dialogue? <sighs> you said that line? <laughs> and does she point down? You don't point, do you? No, I just take it. You know my response? Oh, yeah. 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 Tell it off, it's always funny baby. to me, though. I know it is always funny to me when it's actors. Okay. I love when actors kind of act um, like a little defensive of their role. Like, because you're an actor. You're, we don't think I that. I know, I know. You know what? You you just are protective of your character, well, you, you know? You develop the character. Yeah, right. and you're just like, what? But. Okay, I'll accept is it. Is part of it because <clears throat> sometimes black people think characters from the TV show when they see him are the real person in real life. Oh, you that hoe from yes. TV. <laughs> yeah, so that you does fucking, happen. You fucking the white boy. That's crazy. <laughs> Wait a minute, that, that is not, mistress? that's not only, it's not only no, black no, I walked in here, boom! Yeah, 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 yeah. He's black, black, he's black, 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 black people do it. We don't know you're a real person. You're, you're doing that's But you're doing pretty saying. quick, and you're pretty damn quick. You thought it was a documentary right. the whole time. I feel oh like women God. who are married are going to be like, oh, you're you're messing with that man who's really? married? And I'm like, dude, that's a character. He's white and you're a prostitute? <laughs> you really are the worst. No, but listen, though. You know what my response, though, is great? She says, with money you can get this. I say, well, then it's a good thing I have some. Oh. Wow. Yeah. yeah, it's cool. So I'm, I mean, I'm, 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 a, I'm a, a, what do you call the guy that does that? The John? The uh, yeah, but what I mean is there some derogatory. We call him yeah tricks. You're, you're a trick. The trick. You know, you're well, the... but that's from her perspective. But you call a guy, you don't call a, a John. Mean, a John. American? Well, that's an American. <laughs> a man. A man. <laughs> a man. <laughs> no, I don't know what you call him. You call no, him but bad listen. Man. No, know. the cool thing about this story, though, and we all know this, everybody sitting here, is how many successful rich white guys mm -hmm. want to have a hot black chick on the side. Mm. 
and Why pay they? for it and pay for it. Well, wait, wait, no, I've dated white guys who didn't pay for it. You're not the no, same as your character. It. It's, I, it, I don't I need to help you. Her. Get her. Get her. Wait, are you guys talking? Oh, you guys are talking about our character. Okay, character. Okay, sorry. But since you want to go there, let's talk about <laughs> it. Okay, I'll I'll go there with you. So you like white men? You've dated white I've men. Da- Listen, I'm an equal opportunity dater. <laughs> yes, good. Okay, I don't uh, close doors. You know the the. You, I, who, if you're nice to me and you treat me well, then cool. If you're white, black, Indian, whatever you whatever are, whatever you are, whatever you are, I'm, I'll give you a chance. Because we've been told there's a, a young lady on our program, Kay Fox. She's not here today. Right. She's scared of the pink dick. There's you know, no she, reason to be scared of it. it even though she's had same. white boyfriends before, she downplays that part. But she's, she, you know. So, have you ever experienced? You've been with a black woman before? Oh yeah. He's Often. been with a lot of women before. He was in the Dukes of Hazard. He's for just God. a good old boy. Can you imagine the harm? Can you I'm imagine the, the, the harm this guy had in the I'm 80s? Boho. <laughs> yeah, boho. He was out there hoeing. So you've had you've had all kinds, everything. Yeah, black, yeah. white. Yeah, yes. Hispanic, Indian. Yes. Yes. Are you married now? Yes. Are you married now? You married now? Yes. Are yeah. you married to a white woman? Yes. Okay. From New Jersey. Really? Yeah. From New Jersey. I'm from New York. She's from New Jersey. So That's she'll great. cut you. So you oh, didn't she find, will. She will. Oh, yeah, yeah. You didn't have any experiences where, um, did you ever have an experience where a black woman was almost like, oh, my God, this is my first white guy. This is like uh, an experience. Do you ever have that? Never. I don't think people really talk that way in, in real life. No. <laughs> they look you got to stop confusing real life with, with your character, yeah, man. Exactly. Well, you know, time, out, though, for me. time out, though. It happens to him that way. Well, no, my situation is a little different. I, I have. I've never been like... Oh, uh, someone's experiment. What I told you happened to me more regularly is that there are times in the past, I'm married now, but when I was single, where I would hit on black women and they'd kind of be like, oh, you're so funny. And I'd be like, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm being I'm serious. Trying to, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to have sex with you. With you. <laughs> this isn't funny. Right. Stop laughing at me. Right. I'm dead serious. Oh, another one you get, uh, you cute for, for a, a white boy. boy. Oh, oh wow! That ha- yeah, it doesn't happen wow. to you. You're one of the dukes. But for me, it was uh, that does happen sometimes. No, I mean, you're different though. Where, where's, where's your Where's your background from? Where are you from? Um, I'm. I was born in. I'm born in. I was born in Queens, raised in Long Island, and um. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I kind of went to a mixed school. You know, I was a cheerleader. I was the first actually black cheerleader, and I was president of my class for two years. You know what I mean? Where in Queens? What? Uh, what no, in Long Island. And where in Long Island? Suffolk County, Middle Island. Suffolk County. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Exit 64 in the LIE, Longwood. Um, so you probably heard wow, some. Wow. You were uh, obviously a beautiful black chick in high school. I'm sure mm-hmm. it was very popular, et cetera. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure you also heard some dicey shit get said around you. Long Island's notorious for being a little racist. I'm, I went Especially to high Suffolk. Long Island. It's w- they got, it was dicey. Yeah. See, I, I feel like I was so protected. Like, I never really, I heard, never heard anything crazy out there. Honestly, maybe no, when I came speak to Manhattan. Well, for a black girl. You're so eloquent. No. So articulate. I've heard them say it to black guys, like, "Oh, you you speak well," but I've never. I have heard that though from from beautiful black women. They don't experience the race issue the same way black, black men, men do, do. Yeah. because yeah. they're beautiful and black, so everybody loves them, yeah, and yes. it's and it's no, it's not a big issue. But for the black guys, t- now so- where I was going with the sex questions was, so you guys have sex on the show? Yeah, Frequently. many times. Yes, yes. Your characters, My, yeah, our characters have a lot of sex. Yes, a lot of on sex. the show. Yeah. So on the couch. On the couch. On it the was desk. not on awkward for either of on you because you've been with white dudes. But and here's you've been the thing. Why would that be what but makes it, it awkward? Be, it yeah. I mean, because uh, p- a penis is a penis is a penis. Yeah. So it, it would. Sometimes be... you think so racially that you go like beyond me. Like, <laughs> yeah, why mean, would that white... make it more awkward? Like. I've been it's with, just awkward doing a sex scene, maybe, but, but why it's awkward doing a sex scene with, with a bunch of people standing men there, and sitting there, and your chest is. You're trying to be wide. in focus. Yeah, it's it's definitely awkward how, anyway. How naked did you have to get to do those scenes? Mm, just more like my top off, not my. Yeah, bra. no, not her bra off. No, this is not. No. A, oh, this is not. Oh, this is not, not Cinemax. Oh, Cinemax. Exactly. Yeah, no, it's not that. Oprah wants to take it to the next level. Yeah, she should really start showing some nipple, Oprah. We are. Listen, we, we know what happened with listen. her in, uh, and what's his face? Uh, 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 <laughs> Terrence Howard. Howard. Yeah, right. she wow. showed she showed the boobs to Terrence Howard in that new film, yeah. The Butler. I don't know if they show it. Though, I don't think they he, show her. He boob. felt it. He said he felt it, and he was excited. Uh, and you know, wow. Terrence is a perv too, so he probably wasn't even supposed to feel it, and probably just did the Oops, extra. Sorry, yeah. Oops. sorry. Oh. Um, uh-huh. So since you've had so many intimate scenes, has it been good enough to, you know, you guys have actually kissed? Is it really, really good? What's the connection? Talk about the connection. We want to know the story. Oh, God. The connection is great. We have a, an amazing chemistry, which is uh, hard to find in television because of you, you're shooting a schedule and there are a bunch of people standing around. You know, you watch a show and you think, oh, that's so that's so elegant and that's romantic. Well, there's 60 people standing around scratching their ass and, and looking at their watch to see what the next scene is, you know. So it's not... 
It's not what it looks like. So your wife so, doesn't get bothered at all. She doesn't because she's a beautiful, beautiful woman. Obviously. No, no, she doesn't get bothered at all. I think I think Tika's mother got a little, a little, <laughs> like, hmm. hmm. Can I turn? This, can I change this probably, channel? Probably close can to I change age, this right? channel? Yeah, thanks for that. But Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I think <laughs> I think jealous. I'm probably That's older than your mother. My mother was quite fine with it. She thinks you're a handsome man. Your mom probably used yeah, to yeah, but she came in and we were doing that though. We were doing it. It was like she came in and she was like. In, in the dressing rooms, the television is showing what's what's happening on the set. Right. So her mother came in, sat down, got all nice, and, and she would you like coffee? Would you like? And she sat down. Okay. And she looked. It's like <laughs> he's groping my baby. He's groping my ass. Baby. <laughs> what and the she's fuck? Like, she's doing like around here. I think Why we do you might, think it might have been the, the, like up that? on the wall. Like a southern day. black, like a no, southern black. She's from Southern County. My mother's County. from Brooklyn. She, oh, she's from Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, she definitely. Knows so she was like, "Yo, B. <laughs> no, yo, <laughs> son. Yo, what son. Yo, no. what the fuck is going on?" She was on a right correction here? officer at Rikers. She definitely doesn't talk like that either. Wow, she was a correction officer yes. at Rikers. Yes, for a very long time. Wow, your story gets more interesting. That yeah. is not what I pictured. No, my mother's definitely not like that. What does your dad do? My dad passed away. Unfortunately, what kind of that? We were laughing. This is laughing. This is why it doesn't work with me. And black women. <laughs> um, what did okay. he, what did he do? Um, he was in the army. Uh, he worked. Uh, he was a sergeant. In the army. So your mom was a, on her own. Or did she remarry? She remarried while you were a kid. Yeah, to another correction officer. To another Rikers. corrections officer. Yep. So wow, you were the child of a correctional <laughs> officer family. Exactly. Is your father Rick Ross? <laughs> Yes. No, I knew it. I'm kidding. And so she would commute. She would go to Rikers and then she live would, in... She moved us from out of Hollis, Queens, to Long Island. And then she would go back and forth to work really hard. Wow. Yeah. I think that's a strange thing, like yeah, a that's, long commute. That's a new, that's a new no, York. Can, yeah. I, can I be honest? Yeah. Uh, I, no, lie, I'm so, lie. Can I lie for a yeah, second? Yeah, you can totally lie. lie. I feel like her <laughs> style and vibe of like suburban chick from Long Island just didn't picture her mom being a Rikers correctional officer. That's all. thought it was mm -hmm. interesting. Really? I didn't know how no, often... No, my mother's a tough little cookie. She's tiny, but she's a tough little cookie. In the group of moms, in your group of friends in Suffolk County, were there other correctional officers as moms? No. Yeah, that's what I said. That's just, it was just an interesting not. fit, that's all. No. Is that a strict way to grow up? Was, was she strict at home? Were your parents strict yeah. at home? Yeah, go, she was definitely... Um, you go. Because well, I didn't what? know that. Because no. if, you, if you met her mom, you wouldn't say, oh, she's a correctional no. officer. Really? She's no, chill. not at all. No, she's delightful. She's so fun. She's My friends she love hot? being around her. She's a cutie patootie. I mean, she I wouldn't say, you I don't know. check out my co-star's moms. No, I'm sorry. No, yeah. don't do that. Tell us with your eyes. I don't do that. <laughs> say what? One Scrap. wink, yes. One wink, yes. <laughs> oh, you did it. Thank you. All done. You so do they look alike? Does she look like her mom? Um, I look like my dad. More really? So. Yeah, I look like my father. But um, no, my mom, I, she's like definitely a person who speaks her mind, and I get that from her a oh, lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's she good. She told Tyler a couple of things on set, and <laughs> he laughed about it. put him in his place? She's just like, you know, Tyler's kind of a germaphobe, and uh, my mom has asthma, and so she was on set, and she, like, coughed, and he was like, are you are you okay? And he, she was like, your place is dusty. And he was like, what? She's I like, yes, her. it's dusty and dirty. And Brooklyn. He was, like, he was. That's right. I came off set. He's like dying. Like he's like, your mother's amazing. She just told me my place is dusty and dirty. I'm having it clean tomorrow. Tika <laughs> Sumter's mom <laughs> punked the shit out of Tyler Perry. Who yep. did, who knew? Yep. Hey yeah. Tika, what was your biggest thing before this? Uh, before the show. Um, what was my biggest thing? I did Sparkle and Gossip Girl. Was probably a bigger thing. Mm -hmm. And um, the game. Um, I was on there. I have a recurring character on there. So, and you know, just working. And I was on One Life to Live for four years. So. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's hot and everything, but my guy Bo Duke over here, I'm fuck around. Do you still slide across the hood of cars? Yeah, I slid across the hood of your car today. Nice. With nice. a with a buck knife. <laughs> Why would you do that to my car? Because, because I, heard <laughs> I heard you know, you. about you. I heard about your shit. But John, I'm fix like, that ser shit seriously, right now. Ser have you ever been in a in a in a role dating, you know, and having sex and Having just a relationship? A relationship with a younger woman before. Is this new for you? Oh, no. No, several. I did, uh, I did, uh, oh, hell. Nip Tuck. Oh, that's right. Tell he used to get it popped. I played, I, uh, that's right. I played Ram Peters yeah. on Nip Tuck. That was a good run. I was run. the porn king. Yeah. That's right. I forgot yeah. all about so, that. So uh, I, took, I took the girls away Wait from. Wait a minute. Julian and uh, you're almost like a soft porn actor. This you're like having sex a lot. <laughs> now. This is kind of a recurring theme. Well, yeah. He was also he was also Superman's father. So yeah, but I didn't do that stuff when I was Superman's yeah, father. That's right. Right. Yeah, that's he was a nice yeah. guy. Yeah, he, he goes, he right. goes yeah. across. I'd the like to slide stuff. across the hood of Kevin Costner's car. That's what I'd like to do. Why? Because yeah. he's Jonathan Kent and I'm not, and I'm jealous. Oh, got it. Yeah, but I, oh, I would movie? like to. Yes. Yeah. And is he really? He is. Yes. And I love Kevin Costner, but I thought you know, oh, you're both pretty I good at that show for a long time. It would have been nice to get a phone call. Uh oh. 
controversy. You bet. John don't you Snyder. think? Don't you think it would have been nice to get a phone? I mean, they called us all about that that Dukes of Hazard movie. We all said no. No. Oh, yeah, really? But, you guys you know, all agree that was not. Yeah, the move. Yeah, that was the wrong thing to do. So oh, yeah, uh, that movie. The Dukes of Hazard movie. Yeah, it it it'd have to be considerably better to be shit. <laughs> I knew he was going to call it shit, though. <laughs> well, I was offended by it because you, you watched it and, and loved it as a kid. Right. And, and you didn't get any racial Nothing. vibe from it. Nothing. I think largely because of the character of Uncle Jesse. Uncle Jesse was the greatest character. Jonathan Kent was a great character. When they redid the Dukes and made it into a movie, they had Uncle Jesse. Uh, Willie Nelson was smoking pot and yeah, throwing yeah. Molotov cocktails and grabbing Wonder Woman's ass and doing all it's kinds wild, of... Right? It was terrible. Mm -hmm. I mean... It was the one real male role model, a guy that was taking care of his niece and nephews, uh, and they screwed it up. And I, I was offended by that, wow. really. And I'm not easily offended, but that was like, well, that's Uncle Jesse. Don't, yeah, don't, don't mess with Uncle Jesse. Don't fuck with Uncle Jesse. No, I don't agree. do that. I agree. I, I mean, didn't see the movie, so. I neither did I, you. but I can imagine if you're, you. <laughs> if you're someone who did it, if you're someone who that show was yeah. near and dear to a lot of people. Okay. And when people cover things, I respect the cover. And you can do things that are different, but you can't utterly change the, the change fiber the of the character. Like it was like the right. jackass version. Like, what yeah. was in it? Oh, Johnny Knoxville. Well, they, could have made a, they could have made one every year had they gotten it right. It was, I mean, it's a huge show still. I mean, a huge show. We were They're just watching the intro it. the other day on YouTube just to sing along with Waylon Jennings. Oh. Would so you have cool. been good financially if you had never done another job after Dukes of Hazard? Would you have been good? Oh, no. It had to work again. Even with royalties, even with all the uh, everything Reruns else came with it. And, and toys and everything. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We, Did your deal to... suck? Did they give you a piece of those toys? No, no. Remember, we left for a while. Bo and Luke left for a while. replace you guys. Don't, don't I fucking that. hated that. Yeah, Coy nobody, and Vans. Nobody don't, let's not bring up Coy and Vans, I'm sorry. Guys, okay? I'm sorry. Did you like them, too? No. no nobody nobody liked Coy and Vans. So I didn't know, I didn't know why you were that sensitive. That was disrespectful. How long did that last? The season? Not even a whole 18 season. 18 shows. It was 18 shows. But that was about merchandising and about uh, about the contract and about what uh, what it said they were supposed to pay and what we felt they and were. And so did they, they fix it up after that? Error. No. Never fix it? No. Never fixed it. But you came back, though. We came back, yeah, because we realized that they were they were absolutely willing to let the show go. I mean, we went from top five to number sixty four out of sixty three shows in uh, in those eighteen episodes. And so you assumed once they see how bad the ratings go, they're going to come back. Well, to us. we we assumed that that when we called attention to truly an error, <laughs> that they would make it right, and they didn't. They didn't, and we thought, well, then certainly we'll uh, they'll come to their senses after we stay away. And they wouldn't do it. They said, you know, the show will go away. We'll let this, we'd rather let the show oh, go away million. than bend on this issue at all because wow. there's lots of shows out there and we don't want to, we don't Damn. want to, you to set precedent. That was 30 wow. years ago. And uh, so there That's is crazy. something, something does come in, but not nearly what, uh, honestly, not nearly what should. I mean, Dukes of Hazard, you can go to Walmart and get a 2013 Dukes of Hazard calendar. Oh, and shit. they are, and you can go buy a General Lee, and you can, and it's funny, you know, in the model what they do, and actually in a lot of the the diecast cars, they will have the General Lee. They've taken the flag off the advertising on it, but the decal is in the box, so it's up to you. If you want to put the you Confederate put flag, the, if you want to put the decal on there or not? On, really? That's yeah, so yeah, funny. Yeah, you kind of have to put the decal on, even though I was like. I turned like 16. I was like, Mom, you used to let me watch a show with a Confederate flag. I was okay. going through this whole black you were finding, you found well, your you have to go through this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have to go through the spirit of what, uh, you know, if, if, if that flag was on there for any sort of a racial reason, then it meant it was there with Uncle Jesse, back to Uncle Jesse, but it was there with Uncle Jesse's blessing, and there was no way in the, the world that Uncle Jesse. was General Lee. So after like Robert E. Lee. Dressed right. like the general, not because they were racist. Right. Like, Right, right, and what uh, Ben Jones said once, uh, which I thought was pretty cool, he said, "Just because I have a I have a a white bed sheet in my house doesn't make me a Klansman." True, right. Right. true indeed, right. true indeed. So, true. cool enough. Um, Boy, that got very serious. They yeah, did. It, it, it got, got very serious. And, and, just, and just because I wear a white bed sheet at night and chase black people <laughs> doesn't <laughs> make me in the KKK. <laughs> it's just a That's hobby. Right. It's just so a hobby. Everybody, you gotta have a hobby. Oh my gosh, this is Speaking funny, of, man. Yo, listen, listen. Yes, Daisy Duke. Yes. Who was having sex with her? Mm. Wow. No. No one? No, no, no. Nobody on that show had sex with Daisy. As far as I know, uh-uh. No. There's a wonderful old saying. I saw it on a fortune cookie once. You do not shit where you eat. True indeed. Yes. Yep. Yep, and uh, but that I would, would be bad. You left? You didn't, but like, <laughs> on your way out when Coy and Vans were coming in, you were like, Kathy, I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you later. I'm not here anymore. Maybe we could. We... <laughs> 
We were protective. It was a very odd, it odd relationship. It makes things complicated. To, it makes things very complicated, yeah, yeah. it's not fun if things go awry. Yeah, yeah, because they will. I mean, yeah, the relationship's going to go south. But you know that south. after being in tons of shows and movies and learning that, that was your first show, right? It was. Well, I'd done a bunch of theater, and I learned that you don't, you don't oh, do that. Yeah. But still, I don't think we would have because there was a – we were blind to that whole thing because we worked – uh, 12 hours a day. I mean, it was a it was a, a very hard job, even though it looked like it was so much fun. It was fun. But we shot uh, five days a week. It took seven days to shoot an episode on first unit, seven on second unit. Hmm. And Kathy was going through a divorce when we first started. So we were all very protective of each other, very much like we were on the show. It was it was a wonderful experience. So she'd come with a new boyfriend and, and uh, Tom and I'd Say, hey, how are you? And we'd check him out, you know, make sure he's okay and he wasn't going to mess up our, our, uh, our Kathy. All right, so yeah. all, just to be totally blunt, though. Oh, just no, be honest. Please you don't. Bo and Luke. Because you guys haven't been blunt at no, all no. this whole time. True indeed. Or honest. True enough. Bo and Luke, who was getting more trim in the, in the heyday? When you guys would go out together, the two of you, not with your castmates, just hit the bar, who was pulling in more? Oh, <laughs> really? It's so funny. What do you though. mean, really? I mean, you're that confident about it. Of not course. Even a question. Not even a question. Oh, no. No, wait. So That's we, not even confidence. That's tell, a fact. Let me tell you. Motherfucker. <laughs> when we go, we were doing uh, press and stuff around uh, in Atlanta and stuff. Women were coming out of the woodworks. I was literally like this. Like, people, women were like, hi, can I take a picture I with you? I bet you didn't yell at them when they called you Bo. Like, you yelled they at them. Exactly. Them. They didn't call no, me Bo. They called you Bo. No. no. They were like, this is my daughter. It was like. Yeah, she's, yeah. <laughs> she, she, she I looks, could see. I, I saw where you were going with that. Well, I just have. There's a vibe of him. Like I know you'd have sex with him. No, <laughs> not that I'm saying you couldn't pull young stuff still, because I know you could. But I could also see him being like a killer milf hunter, like a, a, a problem, like a a real, like 45, 50 year old killer woman just milf seeing him hunter being like, oh my god. god, that's pretty cool. Killer milf hunter. Killer milf hunter. Oh. That's a new That's show. Been, uh, Killer Milf Hunter. <laughs> Killer Milf Hunter. <laughs> or maybe yeah. Vampire Milf Hunter would make ooh, it more. Ooh, now, now you're talking. Wow, that's cool. It's It's been an amazing, an amazing uh, run run with all of that. Yeah. And, the Milf uh, Hunting, you mean? <laughs> well, yeah. The yeah, years and just, years of Milf Slaying. Well, uh, Milf Slayer. <laughs> milf milf Slayer. Slayer. Perfect. <laughs> wow. Uh, it's it's been, uh, it's been amazing. It's been great. Um, and... That with Dukes and then with music and all of that, uh, never really I forgot about the album. Never really. The well, music. of course, it was country music. Got country, hit, country got record, hit albums. Yeah, on, just on MCA, there was a whole there was a bunch of them. There were number one. But anyway, God, man, what a run! Let's talk about that. Tika. <laughs> no, that's, no, this is perfect. Listen, no, this is awesome. So the show so gonna, in twenty is years, on. we're gonna hear about her run. Right now, we're reflecting on your run. This is incredible. <laughs> what you've done. The Oprah Winfrey. Usually, network. you have to be dead to have people talk know, about you no, like enjoy this. Enjoy it right now. Okay, Let's just all right. Admire it. I'm enjoying it. Now, you know what it is? Because now there's too many channels, too many shows. I don't even know if you can form a bond with a character like you could back in those that's, days. That's a, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. There's so many shows that it's all spread out where like back then it was three channels. Right. When you went to school on Monday, they were talking about Dukes of Hazzard. <laughs> and, uh, and if you it was Friday night? Yeah, it was on Friday night. There was, uh, I think the movie Stand By Me. The fat kid was getting was getting ostracized from the group because he had something happen on Friday night and he didn't know what happened on Dukes of Hazard. And they were like, "Man, what do you mean you don't know what was happening on Dukes of Hazard?" Daisy was this, and it was it was so much fun. That show when they did Mars Attacks, the Martians to learn how to to, to fit in on Earth were watching the Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> when Brad Pitt goes to Mexico in uh, in the Mexican that movie. Uh, he's sitting in the hotel room watching Dukes of Hazard in Spanish. I mean, Dukes of Hazard is an amazing thing. Uh, well, I'll tell you the truth. This is kind of odd. I don't remember episodes of Dukes of Hazard. Hear me out. Yet you don't all, remember breakfast. Yet for, yeah, well, okay. but from my childhood, all I know is that up until I was like six, I was just obsessed with Dukes of Hazard. My parents talked about it to me my whole life, and I remembered it, yet I haven't really watched it. Si I haven't gone. I'm just thinking, now, like, I got to go watch. Do you have the DVDs? Yeah. I was like, I just got to go back and watch the entire thing because I was obsessed. As a, and all you know, I remember still was fun. Friday night. They're still fun. Roscoe and Boss Hogg were the two funniest people on the planet. I don't Marriage. know why they never got an Emmy. I really don't. I don't know why. They never won awards for that. They were never even not. Nobody from Dukes of Hazzard was ever nominated for anything ever. Mm. 
Yep. And those two gentlemen, Boss Hogg and uh, Sorabot, who's from P- Buffalo. And could you get Gold Train? Yep. It was great. Hell but there's run. a new show coming out on Tuesday night on, on, <laughs> on OWN. On OWN. Tyler Oprah Perry's. And Tyler. Tyler Perry's. Tuesday night's 9 o'clock. We have Sorry, two one-hour shows back to back. Yeah. Oh, you're going yep. back to back with a double premiere? Mm-hmm. Yep. We're From going the Dukes back of back. Hazard to a Tyler Perry show. sex, whoring, prostitution, oh, now you're ambition, the words. You like cheating on the... I'm sure you're opportunistic. Ma- opportunistic. Yes. Taking money. Now, yes. your character on the show is married. Yes. Successful. Very. Children. Mm-hmm. Yes. Living in the suburbs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so how do you meet? Tika's character. What's the name of the character? I call Candace. her on the phone. I get. I, Candace. I, I make an lawyer, appointment. Right? Yeah. I'm a judge. An escort. I'm so a judge. literally, I'm not standing on the corner. So literally, picked up the phone, called Candy. Candy. Candace. That's yeah. That's her name too. Candy. Yeah. She shows up. I'm on the phone with my wife, uh, and looking at the clock and getting the champagne ready. And uh, I say, Hey, I gotta go. I think that's David at the door. You know, I'm staying late at the Fucking office. Liar. And then, uh, <laughs> yo, I'm a terrible. I'm a terrible guy. I love it. I'm a bad man. That is fun. And wow. uh, so she comes to the door, and I say, are you Candy? And she says, are you Jim? And I say, yeah. Come on in. And then we, we have our, uh, Run. our wow. encounter. That's mm-hmm. how the show starts. <laughs> yeah. They I'm in. Pop it right away. I'm in. Oh, yeah. Oprah and Tyler get right to the schmacking. Who knew? <laughs> Who yeah. knew? Yes, appearances from the people from Meet the Browns or anything like that popping up. <laughs> Is there a character? I hate you for that. Is there an old? I hate you for that. Is there an old grandmother, <laughs> wacky grandmother played by a man on the show? Medea does not pop up at all. Tyler no, not on this one. Not on this one. Yeah, oh yeah. Before yeah. this, Hysterical. before he gave you a job, you had watched his movies. Uh, thank you. Um, hey, don't even answer that. That's all no. we needed. We were just checking to make sure you're white. You are. Don't worry. <laughs> neither have I. No, I've seen one. I saw one that we I. We were just checking to make sure you were white. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Who knows? He, he has a theory that white people don't watch Tyler Perry movies. It's not a theory. It's a fact. It's she watches. Someone you're with what? Do you what have, people do watch. Oh, You'll sure. be surprised. Now, the, I think I'm well not now. into Medea. I think the Medea stuff is shit, but he's got a like, couple of things like, that I really like. He has a couple of things I really yeah. liked. And I, and, I think, and I love his story. Like I think his story's awesome, how he yeah. came about. His, oh, yeah, know, yeah. I, I saw I love well, his, uh, Temptation I thought was really good. Yeah. I like Temptation. I like the uh, I like the his writing very very much. I like the twists and turns. And when you see this show, it's amazing because all the characters think they know what's going on. I mean, I think I'm a pretty smart guy. Who uh, Jim thinks he is controlling everything? No, he's screwing everything up and just doesn't realize it. Mm-hmm. Uh, the audience knows everything that's going on, and it's it's uh, it's a trick to write that way. We have a bunch of characters that that think they're in the know and they're just. Not at all. I'll, I'll tell you it's something great. that is random. You wouldn't expect. I wouldn't expect to say, but he actually has one trait that reminds me of Woody Allen a lot, which is that like deceit in relationships is in like everything, everything he does. That's which true. Is like Woody Allen. Every Woody Allen movie yeah. is about deceit in relationships, yeah. and that's really where he's his strength. You're channeling are. something. You're channeling some real life experience. No, I was just thinking. I, I haven't. I, Woody. That, I, that's correct. I believe that that's true. I have not put a penny in Woody Allen's. Pocket since he married his stepdaughter. Really? It offends me greatly. Really? Would you yeah. have a stepdaughter? Yes. Mm. Yeah. I can so. understand why that might get weird. <laughs> you <laughs> think? Yes. You, you, you mean you as weird as right that. now, this awkward moment? <laughs> <laughs> awkward I, moment. I don't awkward know. moment. Yeah. I'm, I don't know. It's, I, I, I really separate. Roman Polanski I, can't come to this country, but Woody Allen can keep making movies, you know, and blah. Well, but Woody Allen I said it. I'm in New York. That, I'm saying that, but I'm saying it. I'm sorry. He didn't have sex with her until after she was 18, right? This is just all. Well, this, I, is, this is not where I thought we were going. Well, no, there's an interesting conversation because I, I truly, I'm not, f- I'm not in favor of perverts. Right. Yet I'm a huge Woody Allen fan. I sort of separate it, yeah. kind of, I, which I've done with R. Kelly at times too. Like I sometimes just like push it aside. Nothing to the fact that he's still married to her and they're still together happily. Like, Dude, does that help? Does no. it get any better? No, no, no. It's like you yeah. might want to ask me a Pharaoh. Yeah, you might want to ask me. I'm know. not gonna ask me a Pharaoh. <laughs> did he? Did he? Did, did he change your diapers? Right. I, I don't know. He changed. I don't, I don't she was she like was ten young. when she showed up. Yeah. She wasn't. Baby. Oh, ten. Oh, well, that's well, I'm okay. I'm just saying about diapers. It's <laughs> still all right, all right. disgusting. But she was adopted, right? She was adopted. You're not allowed to adopt any kids. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, just for defending Woody. No. 
He's the movie. I do so like his movies no, his too. Movies are Husband amazing. and Wives I, are one of my favorite movies of his. He's but. got a lot of good. Is that yeah. since now? I haven't seen it. Oh I no, see it. he's dropped gems in the last five years. He's dropped a few really good ones. Yeah. Well, John ain't gonna it. see. I don't know right? anything about it. I don't know anything about it. I don't know about it. I'll be seeing Tyler Perry movies, and you go watch Woody Allen, and they all be cool. John Snyder, do not call him Bo Duke. Unless you know him. Well, not right away. Not right, not right away. away. Not right you away. can say, John Schneider, you were Bo Duke, and that's cool. That's great. I love the Duke. You can tell I love the Dukes of Heaven. Yeah, you do. But Antique, hey, Bo. Hey, Bo. Antica Sumter. No. Uh, new show. What's yeah. the name of it? Check One more time. The Haves and the Have Nots. The Haves and the Have Nots on the own network Tuesday nights. Nine o'clock. Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey. It we, sounds pretty amazing. There's re- sex. It? There's interracial dating. There's prostitution. There's lies, deceit, all the stuff that makes all the good drama. Stuff. Gonna, we should hire him to promote this. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Can we reiterate how hot Tika is, by the way, too? Because we're sitting closer, but you are lovely. Thank you. She, she is. is. She is lovely. That. Trust and me. And she Vinonized. takes her shirt off on the show, so you should watch it for that. Thank you. And wow. scene. <laughs>